This is Chris Shandak, and you're on cwannabe.com with all the national discussion of over 250,000 government documents being released on WikiLeaks.org. We have pulled in an intelligence expert to discuss the most important of all the WikiLeaks and the cables that are coming out. Alana Friedman has been covering intelligence analysis for 25 years. She's currently the CEO and senior analyst of the Girard Group International. We discuss the significance of the WikiLeaks, how only 15,000 of those 250,000 documents are classified information, how the United States has been collecting information on other countries, the possible safety concern for the individuals that this information may harm, and she gives her own perspective on Iran and North Korea's ties along with Hezbollah, and how perhaps they could start a World War III disaster, among many other topics. This is Chris Shandak joining me today with all the discussion of WikiLeaks and private information from the government being leased to the American public through WikiLeaks.org. Senior analyst Alana Friedman joins us today to talk about all those things. But Alana, before we get into everything, sum up your career about of 25 years of intelligence analysts and your involvement in counterterrorism strategies for us. Well, we've, we've been working in intelligence analysis, actually analysis, I started out in business intelligence, but I was uh, doing it in Israel where, of course, um, uh, there is a very strong uh, preoccupation with terrorism on the ground. And uh, so I got a lot of background and training in Israel uh, I, while I was there. I was working there for 16 years. And, um, and then I came back to the United States in 1995 and began to... Um, uh, continued actually working in business intelligence, but also uh, after 9-11, uh, it became very clear that uh, I had a unique background that could be applied to counterterrorism, and that's what we've been doing ever since. And so then tell me about the Girard Group International and what you guys specifically do. Yeah, we, uh, we provide intelligence-led solutions for industry and government. Everything, uh, for example, uh, things like... Um, uh, uh, business intelligence, vulnerability assessment, um, uh, executive protection and training and so forth. And all these things we do um, uh, based on the, the current intelligence that is, um, um, that, that, that will uh, impact whatever, whatever task we're given by our clients. So that they get the very latest and the very best uh, training and uh, assessments and, and services based on current intelligence. And so now that new WikiLeaks are still coming out every day on many things related to the United States of America and its relations with countries across the world, some are taking the perspective of all this information coming out is good while others are saying it's bad. Is it fair to say there is both good and bad coming out with all this information? That's exactly what I would say. I, you know, in principle, I'm against the idea of releasing classified documents to the public. Um, they're classified for a reason or should be. Uh, but when we take a look at some of these um, documents, uh, it isn't clear, A, that, first of all, they're not all classified. Um, only a, a small percentage of them are actually secret documents. Others are either uh, proprietary or, um, or, or frankly, not, not protected. Um, and that, that accounts for most of them. But some of them, particularly the cables from the State Department, those are, are were classified as, as secret, at secret classification. So, um, you know, I have, I have questions about that. But when we take a look at this uh, and we think about our history where whistleblowers were really key to keeping us on a, on a um, the, um, taking, kept us taking the high road, uh, in our in our policies and in our uh, both domestic and foreign, um, I think that that there is a role to play for this kind of whistleblowing. So basically, then the news media has really been making a big deal about all this information coming out on WikiLeaks. But you're saying the majority of this information is not classified. The majority of this information is not classified. Um, I'm I was uh, hoping to find the actual numbers for you, but. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, there are over 250,000 documents 
and I think probably about 10% of them are classified. Given all the technological advances in this country and people's inability to keep tons of private information in all aspects of their life private, isn't this really not surprising that these leaks are coming out? It's not surprising, and, it's, and in fact, it's... Uh, um, Oh, the number is only of the 250,000, only 15,000 were classified secret. So it's a very small percentage. Less, it's, it's less than uh, a very small percentage. And and uh, it's not surprising. You know, the the internet has really opened up the world of information, and has made uh, accessible to everybody uh, the kind of things that used to be only available to people who had special privileges. You know, so now with 25 years of intelligence analysis, what have you been able to gather so far from the reports and the WikiLeaks that have come out? Well, I think one of the, the main things is that um, uh, uh, some of the ways in which we um, take uh, foreign policy, for example, some of the things we do in, in foreign policy um, needs to be reexamined because we are are treating our, our uh, allies with disdain, and we are, uh, and, and this is coming out in some of these, um, uh, in some of these cables that that, that have been released. Um, I, uh, we also found out of, uh, about um, uh, the issues like uh, Pakistani's nuclear capability. We found out that America has been trying so far unsuccessfully to. Uh, um, stabilize the, the reactors by removing the highly um, enriched uranium from them, uh, but without much success, we we are um, uh, we play a lot of uh, foreign policy games with other countries in order to try to uh, um, the the term I guess is game them into certain kinds of behavior. Uh, we play one against the other. Uh, it's it, it's not. It's not straightforward, it's not honest, um, and I'm not sure that it's, in some cases, it's even legal. Yeah, but from a perspective of the United States of America, is it really that surprising that the United States of America was gathering information on other countries and the people that run those governments? No, it's not surprising at all. Everybody is doing it. I, it it's a little bit um, um, hypocritical because when other countries do it in our country, even our best allies, um, we uh, we take great umbrage and we throw the full weight of our laws against them, um, but it's perfectly okay. It seems for us to do it to them, and that you know that doesn't sit right somehow. 